So today I am um, presenting Ghost Sidle method using C++ programming. But first, let's have a quick discussion about Ghost Sidle method. So Ghost Sidle method, this is a technique that introduces a newly computed variable to the next computed variable rather than the next iteration in order to first fully accelerate convergence. So thereby improving set of computed variables for the next iteration. So this is the graphical substitution process. So we have three steps in finding the root for Gauss Seidel method if you are using or if you are computing uh, the Gauss Seidel method manually. First step is to rearrange the order of equations in a manner that the dominant coefficient for each unknown variable lies in the main diagonal of the system of linear equations. Step two, obtain the iterative formula for each variable by transposing the dominant variable and dividing the equation by the dominant coefficient. And lastly, step three, begin the iteration by substituting initial values to evaluate the first variable, then it is substituted on to the next iterative variable to obtain their new values. The process is repeated by substituting the variables on the next iteration until the terminating condition is satisfied. This is the algorithm of the ghost seidel method using C++. Okay, so based from our first exam, Determine the mesh currents using Gauss Seidel method. Terminate if EA is less than or equal to 0 0.001 for all variables. I will try to run the program use, using this equation from our exam in C++. Before we open C++, let's rearrange first the order of, of equation in a manner that the dominant coefficient for each unknown variable lies in the main diagonal of the system of linear equations. So that is the main diagonal of the system of linear equations. Then we put the coefficients in an augmented matrix way. Okay, let's begin the simulation. Here is the interface of Adev C++. So first we click the file, new, source file, and we are now ready to type the code for Gauss Seidel method. This is the code for Gauss Seidel method. And from the program you will see, uh, enter the number of equation, enter the elements of augmented matrix, enter initial values for of the variables and enter the accuracy up to which you want the solution or the uh, terminating condition and so on. So let's run the program. Click, compile and run. And from the, from the program, we are asked to enter the number of equation. So we have three equations. And we are also asked to enter the elements of the augmented matrix row-wise. So input 7 to negative 3, 22, 2, 5, negative 3, 15. 1, negative 1, negative 6, negative 21. Then enter. We are asked to enter the initial values of the variables. 0, 0, 0. And also we are asked to enter the accuracy up to which you want the solution. So 0 0.0001. Or this is the terminating condition. Then after entering, the condition was satisfied at 8 iteration with a root of 3.5938, 3.6563, This is the source code for the Gauss Seidel method. Uh, 
I got it from the internet from bragitoff.com and the, the good thing is the, the program can find the roots of a four equation for, un, for unknowns also. And here is the sample for the three equations, three unknowns. And this is also the sample for the four equations for unknowns. Thank you.